Tell us the idea behind the racial and gender report card and how impactful it has become. The idea is to create transparent information about up to now, it's been about professional sports leagues, as well as college sport in general and the sports media. The idea behind my motive behind doing it is to uh, increase pressure on the organizations to hire more women and people of color, particularly in decision making and senior leadership positions. I think when we first started it in 1988, the professional leagues thought of us as kind of a pain in the neck. And uh, now I think all the commissioners use the report card to, as leverage with their teams. The league offices all do quite well, uh, but it's really at the team level where uh, there's not as many women and people of color in leadership positions. Being one of those commissioners, you know, we get the report card, we're looking at it all the time. What other ways have you seen the data and the report card serve to provoke, provoke action in college athletics? I think the media uses it regularly. So if, if uh, during a particular hiring cycle, for example, with the NFL last year, they were stagnant at four head coaches of color for two straight years. And the media uses it and uses the historical data in it because they had had up to eight at one point and, and uh, puts the pressure on the leagues by creating basically bad publicity for the leagues if they're not doing well. And I think the league uh, was very responsive this time. I think Roger Goodell really said, you know, we really have to do this differently. It's not being effective and to figure out new ways to tweak what, what is called the Rooney Rule in the NFL. And so recently, the West Coast Conference had the distinct honor of partnering with Tides and the Report Card to create the Russell Rule, which we hope to be the college athletic answer uh, to the Rooney Rule. Talk to me a little bit about how this effort is different, perhaps from the Rooney Rule or from the Report Card standing alone. Well, I think you know, it's the first time that something like this has been paired together. It's also the first time we've been asked to do, to do a racial and gender report card. Up to now, we've been doing the others to put pressure on, but with your leadership, the West Coast Conference uh, has become really the first conference to do it. And I'm happy to tell you that other conferences are discussing it now as a result of your leadership and kind of breaking that ground. Uh, it's made it much easier. And also, unfortunately, the, this period of the racial reckoning has made us feel more, more pressure, I think, as a society to do things that we probably wouldn't have done six months ago. Uh, but it's my hope that you know, the example you've set will provoke the other, con other major conferences across the country to adopt both a Russell Rule and a Racial and Gender Report Card. Well, couldn't have done it without you. So I thank you for the partnership and the support. And certainly this uh, college basketball season is going to be a platform and a season like we've never before experienced, both for social justice as well as health and safety. So Dr. Lapchuk, you're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs>